uh, happy Sabbath. We thank God that He has been with us the whole of this week. It has been great that uh, He has allowed us to be alive at this particular point. We continue praising Him uh, for the mercies that He has showed upon us the whole of this week, uh, the challenges, everything that uh, has happened to us. We continue to glorify God. And uh, glory and honor uh, will always uh, be upon him. And uh, I invite you uh, to this Vespers, our Friday Vespers. We thank God that has been with us. Uh, for those who have been affected, uh, we continue uh, praying to God uh, for his mercies upon them together with their families. Uh, God be with us all. Uh, but it's evident that we have all been affected by this virus, whether uh, financially, health-wise, um, it has affected the life of each and every one of us. And uh, for being alive, it's, uh, it's, truly, it's truly His grace and His mercies. We live one day at a time because you don't know what will happen uh, the next minute. But uh, all in all, will continue praising him and worshiping him because he has allowed us to be uh, alive so that we can continue worshiping him and depend upon him uh today's uh, uh presentation uh I've entitled it divine visitation and um uh when trouble come when we face when you face trouble, when you face uh, uh, calamity strike in our life, we all tend uh, not to feel the presence of God. Uh, it's difficult for us uh, to see uh, the hand of God, to see what God is doing in our life when we face challenges, when we face trouble, when calamity strike like uh this period that we are in uh some of many 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 of us who have been affected will just have that one question where where is he where is god at this particular point and uh it's not easy it's not easy to to it's easier to celebrate it's easy to celebrate uh to celebrate when uh things are okay when things are okay, your deal uh, has been successful, everything has gone on well, your kids are doing well. At that particular point, it's easier to associate God with that success. But when things turn around, uh, we'll always have questions uh, to ask, why has he allowed us to feel this way? Because there's nothing bad that happens to you that will let, leave you without feeling pain we all feel pain when things are not right in our life and because of that most of the time we associate pain uh suffering with the absence uh of god in our life and uh it's evident that we have all been affected all of us who have been affected whether at work uh financially health wise uh, the life of every human being in this world has been affected by this epidemic. And because of that, we might ask our livelihood when our livelihood are not uh, okay. Where is he? But uh, uh, we have a few examples. We have a few examples of people who are visited. Uh, God visited them at their lowest moments in life. And uh, his visitation was special. And uh, if you go through the book of Genesis chapter 21, uh, verse 1, we see God visiting Sarah in a special way. She has been longing for a very long time. It was an issue in her family that uh, God has promised, but uh, we are not seeing the fruits of his promise. Then one day, God visited them and he visited in a special way. The joy of Sarah was complete once and for all. We see God visiting uh, Hannah, the book of Exodus chapter 4, verse 31. 
he visited Hannah in a special way. She had been crying uh, tears uh, all time. Uh, she doesn't know a moment where she was happy in her life. And uh, all that time she went in front of God and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. Then one day God came. God came and visited Anna. The book of First Samuel chapter 2 verse 21. God uh, visited Anna in a special way. And uh, he wiped away the tears of Anna once and, uh, and for all. God also visited the children of Israel. That is Exodus that you have said. Exodus chapter 4 verse 31. Uh, children of Israel had stayed in captivity for more than four generations. And uh, out of all that time, they, 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 they suffered. They suffered. They were used as a, a, in all sorts of labor. And the children of Israel uh, continued. Then God visited them and staged a rescue mission like no other in the scriptures. He came, visited them, and he rescued the children of Israel out of the anger, out of the anguish, the troubles that they have gone through. God uh, put an end to that. Although they kept on, uh, they had a long journey, but God stayed uh, with the children of Israel. And uh, that special visit, uh, that visit was special to them. Even today, the children of Israel uh, consider the rescue that God did with them from Egypt to Canaan as the magnificent one. Uh, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 10, Jeremiah is recording, is recording an event before it happened that they will be taken to captivity. And once they have stayed in captivity for seven years, God will visit them. And this is exactly what happened. After the 70 years of captivity in Babylon, God visited them and he rescued them. When they were coming back, they kept on chanting uh, songs of victory and they kept on singing. They kept on uh, recounting the moments that God has uh, been with them in captivity and it was a special uh, visit that he did for the children of Israel from that time when they were rescued from Babylon back to Jerusalem the children of Israel uh, never never worshipped idols again because of what they had seen God had done to them when they were in captivity but uh the greatest visit ever happened in the scripture in this world was when God visited again. God visited uh, again and this time round it was not for only one person, neither was it for a few individuals, neither was it for a nation, but he came for the whole world. And this time round he came to rescue and to redeem the whole humanity god visited in a special way read the book of luke chapter 1 verse 65 68 blessed be the lord god of israel these are words from zachariah for he has visited and redeemed his people the birth of jesus christ uh, ushered in a new generation a generation of people who have been saved, a people who have been redeemed, a people who will experience salvation in a mighty way, the people who uh, experience a relationship with God in a, in a different way. Jesus Christ ushered in the year uh, of the Lord. The calendar changed, everything changed in the uh, when uh, Jesus visited. And uh, this... Uh, visit was special was special to each and every one of us because before that uh, people cried to God people worshipped God but uh, they kept on waiting this one was the grand visit of uh, of God to this world and he came and made everything new he uh, he rescued the whole world through Jesus Christ. And, uh, 
Jesus Christ came and his experience with this world, it is the only uh, revelation that we have that will direct us to the internal life that God has prepared for us. Everything that he did, everything that he did when uh, he was in this world, he left a mark that will continue motivating us, it will continue giving us hope as we wait for that grand uh, another grand visitation when he will come and rescue us and take us to the to the kingdom. I call upon each and every one of us this evening. Uh, maybe you are going through so much in your life. Uh, the world that we are living in, uh, there's nothing good that can come out of it. As much as we might think that uh, 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 some good deals and uh, some good pay rise will, will make things right but uh, you can understand the situation that you are in in this world um, it's, it's, it, it won't change for, for the better but things will continue to be worse because that is how this world is seen uh, is, is, is in this world and because of that things might turn uh, to the worst, but we'll continue hoping that uh, Jesus is coming and uh, the guarantee of his coming uh, is assured because he came the first time when he was coming to die, but he still came and uh, he faced all sorts of challenges, but uh, still he came. Now that he's coming as a king, we know that God is coming again and uh, we all hope for that visitation that will come and take us home. Uh, it's only us who will choose whether to be in that uh, vessel that will come to carry us home or will not. But uh, our our salvation uh, is guaranteed as long as you believe in this Jesus Christ uh, and uh, we all be saved uh, based on our belief in him. I call upon each and every one of us to examine the ways that we are living in, the uh, challenges that you are going through. Let them not be uh, a measurement of how closer you will be with your God. But uh, it is what he has done in our life. It is what he has done in this world that will keep us hoping that he will come again. And based on that, uh, each and every one of us, we have a space in his heart. Let us continue hoping in him. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit will continue manifesting his ways in a special way in our hearts so that we can continue uh, trusting in him. And each and every step that we make in this world will always walk with God. And uh, open our hearts so that the Holy Spirit will minister into us in a special way to show us everything that God wants us to do. To show us his will so that we can do it according to how uh, he wants it, our life, so that he can order also our life to work according to his will, um, so that we can maintain our names in the book of life. I continue praying for each and every one of us so that we can maintain our, our spot at, uh, at the kingdom because our Savior is coming again. He has redeemed us, he has saved us, and uh, he has guaranteed everything good for our life. It's us to make that choice this day, that uh, the divine visitation be your portion today. And uh, accept that uh, when he is coming again, uh, you will be ready when he comes. May the good Lord bless you and have a lovely, lovely, lovely Sabbath. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we come to you at this particular point with thanksgiving because you have been our God. You have taken us through the whole of this week. Uh, we have experienced your blessings uh, of rain. We continue hoping uh, that you, you are with us, you will be with us, and uh, prepare us for your second coming, O oh Lord. Uh, many of us are facing challenges at this particular point. All of us who have been affected by the coronavirus in one way or the other. Uh, we continue praying that you will sustain our life, give us hope, and the Holy Spirit may find a place in our hearts so that he can minister in a special way to guide us according to your will. Each and every day, let it be a day of worship, a day of glorifying you, because you are our God and you are a powerful God indeed. We come to you at this particular point with thanksgiving because you have been with us. 
be with us, continue leading us, because we, we pray this, because we believe that you are a powerful God, and do all things according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen.